Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Malagos showing off one of the most requested things on this channel. And that is, hey Bofer, why don't you show more games where you're in damage control mode instead of high roll and just blow out the lobby mode? These are the games that you don't think you're playing for first place. You don't think that you have a chance to really be competitive at all. But sometimes you can pivot hard in the tempo in the middle of the game, damage control, turn an eighth into a fifth, into a fourth, and you end up killing off all those high rollers. And when you're left into the middle of the game and there's a bunch of mid-range boards, then pivots matter. Dumping more and more stats on the board matter. Sometimes you just have to be bigger than the other mid-rangey boards. And you've already done your job. The middle of the game, we're looking at one turn more, two turns more. That's all we're considering. And then you get through and you're like, damn, I really wish I would have bought that Argus in the middle of the game. Man, I really wish I would have gotten that Selfless Hero, whatever it might be. But a lot of times those pickups get you killed. And you just work with what you got to push everybody else out of the lobby. All right, enjoy. Nothing quite like one star lines. Thankfully, we're fighting somebody here that is trivial. Oh, look, an alley cat. Thanks. Thanks, game. Right, we're going to take this triple. I could just try to greet it. If they were good for our six star lobby, we should do that. I see. This is going to be a different five star next turn. Also, I see. Just going to be that kind of game, huh? Could have looked at this first, just in case we got the reroll. I should have. Hindsight, hindsight, hindsight. Do we like the divine shield or do we like the three gold for next turn? It's a Eudora doing the curve we did previous game. Remember the Turn seven, six star. So she has four one stars ish. We could try to hide this. It's possible. Concede curve. I mean, we got a casual 3.5 off of it while missing on our triple. It's better than any other curve. It's just a farm curve and choosing not to hear power one turn. Trying to hide damage is the idea here. Great. Great. Thankful. Loving life. Beautiful. Both bublets took a one damage instance and died. Why wouldn't they? Be useful. I mean, I wouldn't exactly say useful, but like, look where we are in this game. Wow, actually. He stops complaining mid-sentence. Mid-sentence stops complaining. That's how good that board was. Do we want to cycle through all of this and take the triple at the end or take the triple up front? 
Argus just in time? You know it. I see. It's just kind of... I get excited, and then I get sad. Then I get excited, and I get sad. But I get excited, and then I get sad. Guess I should look at the four if I'm gonna do this. Cause I can just always sell here. Get excited, and then I get sad. <laughs> and then I get really sad. It's a new five star time? I don't think so. I think a 317 on this turn is warrants keeping. Sully's debatable with the stats, the uh, master realities, but eh. Not at the moment. Looks like we are done playing this game for first. We have low rolled once again. Honestly, like after four games of low rolling every single game, should you just stop for the day? Bob has made it abundantly clear that there's really no way that we're going to do well today. At least Bublet dodged all the two damage instances on the board. He's just like, nah, you're going to get fucked. That's today. Today's get fucked day. Enjoy. There's no way this is going to work, right? I see. Rolling a specific four star isn't really a viable pivot. This guy level limped up to five. Very, very, very nice for us to have a free turn here. Michael did nothing wrong. Hashtag starlight. That's not even right. All right, well, free round, he says. Hashtag home light. Um, free round. Here's our triple. At least it's a card. I see. Guess we could take that triple if we were to hit it. That is a domo. That's a start. Selfless is pretty interesting too. Uh, no. Eh. I like the small taunt, I think. Over this. Question is only, do you take a 4-4 buff? It's really like an 8-8 buff. But it costs us a gold. We're not going to cycle like three here. And the game is really short, so like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Very little threat of cleave. And that's about it. We keep the roll for next turn. What's the reason we're keeping the roll here? The average value of a tavern has a uh, approximately... 80% of an elemental on the next board. And if there's 80% of an elemental on the next board, we shouldn't waste the roll. Unless it's under 50% of an elemental, you shouldn't be wasting the roll. Hmm. 
mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just spawn more damage. That's cool. It's fine. No, it's fine. Absolutely fine. We got the ghost. We're living the dream. The good life. All right, well, I like you, Leroy. Good hero power you for a potential five, but the only thing that's really a good five is master realities. Eh, that's not true. Nomi's okay here. It would play a little bit off, off what we're currently doing. We didn't want that health anyway. Exactly. Health is so overrated. I like feeling like shit all the time. That's my style. I don't think we're taking this. Should have played this through first, to be fair. I don't think we're taking that either. No max. Triples just aren't valuable to us. What are you looking for if not tripling refreshing anomaly? Stats. 100% maxing stats on the board for two more turns. That is entirely what we're doing. No part of me cares about triples. Six stars and five stars are irrelevant outside of potentially just another master realities. And even that isn't good next turn because we could leave it on the board at the very end just to be buffed by Domo, but that's it. This is just dump every last stat we can on the board and kill one more person. Take a top four and go next. We definitely get more stats by rolling. Buying generic elementals that are not value elementals. Until we run out of rolls, we're not buying bad elementals. If we have six or we had four floating gold in hand, we never want to freeze. So like just finding ace elemental is net positive. And when you're floating five gold like that, you're basically committing the rest of your turn for that ex exact elemental versus two boards worth of other elementals. Like just finding decent ones gives you more stats on average. One more turn, right? This is the only turn that matters. We still have quite a few gold, or not enough gold. We'll stock up where we see them. Gross. Can hear power fours if we want to. We're higher likelihood of getting elementals on one star, but the four star is the high roll. Do better than that. I mean, you are better than that, but like, whatever. There you go. Maxed out the amount of stats we could put on the board. We built a 72-72. We're going to get a 9-9 buff here, so this will be 81-81. Big Divine Shield unit. Little Rock. We just got to hope that carries. And that's it. One more turn, one more turn was our goal. Was it Argus and Strong Shell a ton of stats since it's all elementals? So if you argue Argus, you need to taunt up two more elementals on the board, which we don't necessarily want to do, and it's a 4-4 buff. That's it, right? You buff up a 1-1 one, one, and a 1-1, one, one, and this gets a 2-2. Two, two. So it's a 4-4 four, four buff. Like any elemental that we play gets a 1 here, 2 here, plus 1 here. So like that alone is a 4-4 four, four itself too, and it gives you a free reroll. Strong Shell is something. Like, it's a 2-2 two -two buff instead of a 1-1 one -one buff, so you get a 6-6 six -six instead of a 4-4. Four -four. But, like, neither of them are good enough. Like, neither one is close. Not even really that debatable, because you don't get the roll off of it, too. So, like, you're spending 3 gold for a 4-4 four -four instead of 2 gold for a 4-4. Four -four. 
I should say two, one gold for a 4-4 four, four, or two gold versus a 4-4. Four, four. Strong Shell's a 6-6 six, six for two gold instead of one gold for a 4-4 four, four with an elemental. Is your door is sad? I mean, we just went in. Like, we just got to kill people. Too bad nobody else died. Feels bad. Feels bad. Interesting. Interesting enough. Probably. I'm going to hear a power of this on our board. Um, yeah. Going to hear a power of this on our board. That is what we wanted right there. We can buy this up now too. All right, pretty good hits considering that we had no direction. And now we're capable of doing this. But after Argus Drunk shows a lot more, it's a 16 plus 6-6, six, six, it's a 14-14. Okay, sure. Strong Shell plus Argus. You could argue the last one. Argument be the only argument could be reduce the taunt pressure on our big boy. Close. We'd be so much stronger with like one more stat on the board. That isn't bad. Not at all. That was. That wasn't. We'll take it. Coin flip win. Easy clap. This isn't leapers. It's not leapers. This is damage control. Hell yeah, damage control. We can win this one too, which is really funny. No reason to level. We wouldn't level for zero gold. That's where this game is. We probably should hear a power fours right now because Domo and Recycling Wraith are buys. And I should have done that before before playing this. Interesting. We're just going to end up cycling and leaving one thing on the board. Cool, cool. <laughs> I, for one, love my selfless hero on a board with only big taunts and other little things, but it's still better than anything else we could put down. You could easily argue it's second. Problem is, this opens up the door for Leroy more than this does. He's on six, so there's a little bit of a manted consideration too. That's the problem with these kind of builds, is that when you miss in this meta, the play is to play toward individual pieces that hold spots on the board, you know, Leroy and manted and whatnot. And while we can make a couple big things, we can't pad out our board, so we're not really competitive for scam lines. We gotta hit or miss and then just play into it. Leroy, no! Leroy, no! Leroy! Why you have to be like this? Acceptable. Argus would have been really good there, to be fair. Argus acceptable against, or uh, protects against Leroy, yeah, but we're not playing for this stage of the game. See, that's the part that, while you're completely right, it's really nice to have at this stage. We aren't playing for this stage of the game. We were not doing things three turns ago that was anticipating what do we do to get top one. We're playing things that made us strong for the turn, and stats are better than utility at that point in the game. So, Golden Selfless Hero, Triple, Manted... 
mech board triples the play right and we take a shot at Lyra or at zap to win the game so we're not playing towards stats here we're playing toward a three star damage control top two yeah i mean everybody's statements they're making are fine if you think the game is like ultra long Golden Selfless is super cool too, but we just don't get there. Level for Leroy? No, we don't get there. It's a Mega Buster board. It's Zapper Bust. So do we get better likelihood of getting our triple if we pick up Selfless Hero here? That means you have two boards to find Selfless and or Crackling Cyclone or four boards to find exactly Crackling Cyclone. Oh, one board to find either. Never mind. Not good enough. One board. One more board. That's not a cyclone. No. It's all right. Level for damage. Second supple's a, a decent ending unit though, and it's really not. Like supple zero doesn't do nearly enough here. Level for Leroy for one gold. It's it's zapper bust, guys. Zapper bust. Decreasing the likelihood that you find Zap. We need Cyclone into Triple, then level afterwards, take a Zap. Because I don't play this game. I play this like we need Zap. He's actually pretty weak. What a game. All right, whoever in the middle of the game was like, this is going to be a surprise first. You're a prophet. Except, you know, you forgot to factor in our RNG which is going to somehow manage to lose this round. Even though we're heavily favored. <laughs> God damn it, man. All right, you're going to go left. You did go left. Dear Lord, we do make this game look hard. We played to our outs, entirely to our outs. And we got rewarded. Tempo lobby. Pressured everybody else out. Took a W. Almost managed to lose the 90%er for lethal. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll take it. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, the, the selfless or the uh, party elemental had our back. Go left, little party. And he swung left. He turned left. All right. Sad cat noises. That looks like a YouTube game. Interesting play behind the whole game. Pays off. It was different.